and we are live welcome to coach david live today is friday july 16th 2021 at 7 a.m it's 90 degrees and make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel i'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers so today we're going to talk about uh, pickleballs the two main ones nowadays are the Durafast 40 and the Franklin X40. Those are the two main balls right now. The two uh, competing professional tours, the APP and the PPA. The APP is basically kind of with the USAP. The USAPA, the I guess the governing body of pickleball. And then the PPA so there, so Franklin, the Franklin X40, signed a deal with the USAP, the United States Association of Pickleball, I think that is short for, it used to be USAPA, USAP, so the Franklin X40 signed a deal with them to be the official ball. So, so that means the USAP tournaments, I'm assuming, are all going to be used in the Franklin ball. That's kind of controversial because Nationals, a big major, is going to be using the Franklin ball. So that means the professionals have to use the Franklin ball. Because the professionals love the Durafast 40, it's you can hit it harder, faster. And my favorite ball is the Durafast. I like to play with the Durafast. I just feel it's a better ball. It plays faster. It... Um, depending on the weather it's pretty durable but if it's cold weather these things crack like eggs i mean i'll this is mainly what i use in my pickleball machine is these durafasts but if i do it in the morning i mean i could crack nine or ten just in the morning just in a practice and to think it 253 bucks a ball that's an expensive morning of practice they're all i only use used ones in there because these these will go about, I normally only play one new ball each day, and I'll get, what, nine games out of it, nine, 10, 11 games maybe in one day, and then I'll, I'll put it in my bucket. I put it in my um, practice bucket, and I have about, I think, 500 balls in my practice bucket that I use on my pickleball tutor machine. Okay. So the Durafast is what I prefer. The Franklin X40. Now, here's the difference though. If if the other team has a real good tennis player, like can really hit a hard ball, I would rather be playing with the X40 because I want them to sh slow that ball down. I want them to slow the pace down. So I'd rather be playing with the X40 against a really good tennis player that can hit a hard ball. Otherwise, I like using the Durafast. I can control it better. I can put more spin on it. Uh, it just feels better off the paddle. The the Durafast, and uh, and, uh, and I have an issue with Franklin too. We just bought a lot of times. You know, three, four of us will go in and buy a hundred balls and then split them up amongst ourselves. And this last batch, man, actually the last two times, I've got X40. Look at this. You could probably see this seam on there. Look at that seam. I mean. You can totally feel it. And I would say 30, 40% of the balls we got are all wobbly. I mean, nearly unplayable. So that's that's kind of crappy. Where the dirt fast always comes about the same. Hardly ever. It's You can see a seam, but after you play a few times with it, it, it gets worn down and then the ball is uh, completely round. You know, we used to, dirt fast, you would always check check the wobble on them before you played with them but lately and we we always play with this neon one also uh but in the tournaments a lot of times they'll play with the pale yellow one and here's an important thing if you play with the dura pretty much every day it's easy to switch to the slower franklin slower softer franklin it's easy to switch to that so if we have a tournament coming up about the last week we will switch to the franklin but our daily play is with the dura so it's easy to switch it's hard to go the other way you can't be playing with franklin the whole time then go to a tournament and they're using dura 
because it's going to take you a while to get back used to it. That's how it works. But the other way around is easy. Dura to Franklin's easy. Franklin to Dura is hard. And not, we don't even mess with that Onyx fuse ball or anything. And now a lot of the lower uh, re recreational players, that ball's fantastic because they don't really know the difference between the balls. And those last forever. You can play forever on them. It's very inexpensive. Or if you're playing with these, and I was a golf pro, so I know how expensive those balls were, and I would switch balls all the time, but I would use the the Titleist, um, the Pro, what was it? Jeez, it's been a long time. I think they still make it, but I would use, you know, the expensive ball. It's five bucks a ball, you know. Um, thank goodness pickleball isn't that expensive, and the balls are fairly inexpensive, and you can get Franklin's for about two bucks a ball if you do it right, if you buy in bulk. And then Durafast are still about three bucks a ball. Where I buy them, I usually go through Pickleball Central. If they have a sale, I'll pick up a bunch of Duras. Uh, Franklin, where do I get Franklin's? Usually at a tournament or I think Amazon will run specials. Uh, so that's that. And the, the Franklin's pretty durable. You, you'll hardly ever crack one of these. So it's, it's a good ball for that. Um, let's see. I have some notes. Yeah, and I prefer I prefer the Dura out of the pickleball machine, but I do mix Duras and Franklins in that. I don't play any of the Onyx balls. They're they just don't come out good out of the machines. Uh, the best indoor ball. Okay, and if anybody has a question, just put it up there. I'll try to answer it. It can be any topic. Okay, so best indoor ball is this Photon, Gamma Photon, because it feels the most like a Dura. A lot of times we don't like to play indoors because it, it's a totally different game. I mean, it's still pickleball, but it's like a harder game because the nets are usually temporary nets and you can roll them over the top of the net. So you just go ahead and bang away an indoor. And I like this, this Gamma Photon, definitely for the indoor ball. This is the best ball. Uh, let's make sure you, hey, hit that hit that uh, like button right now. Hit that subscribe button, I appreciate it. I think that's all I got for today. Hot weather, cold weather. And both these balls, if it's hot, especially in Lake Havasu, they just start getting mushy near the end and slow down, slow down, slow down. So the game that you're playing in the beginning of the day changes as the ball heats up throughout the day, especially at I mean, over 100 degrees here. It's already 90, which is better. I think it's going to cool off, so I might start uh, being able to play again and post some games. All right, if anybody has any comments, now's the time. I'll wait a few seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, so no comments. We're going to, if you have a comment about a ball, put it in the, the comment section below and I'll try to answer. I'm doing really good on answering people's questions pretty quickly. All right, so make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, you'll know when I come live, and it's usually every morning at seven now and until I get some games going and then I can start posting. Dave Richards says thanks, thanks. I appreciate it. Okay, so what ball do you think is best? Put it in the comments. All right, see ya, three, two, one, bye.